Hey, what's up gamers? Hope you are doing good in this quarantine. Or are you not quarantining anymore? I don't know. Anyways, uh, a while back I created this, uh, not this, but an outline effect, which was kind of bad. All the techniques that I used were uh, unusable. And so now I decided to look if there are other techniques that I can find. And sure enough, I found one which is uh, from uh, 2019, uh, it's a while back, and uh, you can maybe recognize the scene if you watch Brackies, uh, he uh, provided this scene as a downloadable link. And I found this outline effect in Unity's YouTube videos, so we're gonna uh, take a look at it and uh, show you how to modify it a little bit. But before we do that, 80% plus of you watching me are not subscribed. Why? Please hit that subscribe button gently and slap that like if you like this video. With that being said, let's just jump into it. The first thing that we are going to do is, or I actually already did, I created um, the from here rendering, universal render pipeline, and you create this pipeline asset which will create the renderer and the asset and it will assign it right and then you go to your project settings graphics and you assign the pipeline asset there so now everything will be rendered using this so you have your depth uh, texture and opaque texture enabled and all of that stuff in here. And you have this renderer thing in which you can add these render features. And uh, Brackies used this to make objects still appear when they are behind. Um, like for example, when this character goes behind this tower it will still appear but using a different mm -hmm. effect like a, a ghost type of thing you can check uh, his tutorial out if you would like but I'm going for obviously something different and so there are these two scripts that I'm not very uh, I couldn't understand them very well uh, I got them from the uh, tutorial of unity and I, c I will link that also in the description. I also got the um, the filter from there as well. Um, so what these two scripts allows you is when you add when you click this plus sign, you have this blit. So the render objects comes by default, and it um, it's like rendering each object by itself like you can uh, you can override the material or the depth or whatever you want to override of each object on its own you can say but the blit takes as an input the whole the whole thing and writes as an output the whole thing the whole texture let me show you what I mean. So if you mess with these, let's do this. Uh, no, not this one. Um, let's create a material for the sake of testing. Uh, let's make it, I don't know, unlit. And let's assign it to the material here you'll see everything being rendered using this material or almost everything I guess I, I should put this to after transparent render so that the transparent is also included right but obviously we don't want to render using this but rather a material using this filter that is again created by unity and it's already assigned here So, if we assign this, you will see the outline. 
Now it's it's not perfect, but it's it's pretty good, I would say. Um, the the further you are, the worse it gets. But uh, otherwise, it's uh, it's pretty solid, I would say. Let me reduce the size of the gizmos. And there are some parameters here. So this is for the thick, the how thick you want the, the outline. Also, you can um, visualize the outline only. You can see here. And there is this thing that they called it uh, post posterize. And so it, it, it makes this, how would I say, it's like, it's kind of like tune shader. And you can limit how many of these you want. But then you have these sharp edges. So I don't know, you can use it, you can disable it, whatever you want. So this is how you set it up basically. Now, this is the first thing I wanted to show you. And what I did after that is, this is a normal HL HLSL shader. So I looked at this, which is what calculates the, um, the outline. And so it takes the UV and it, uh, I believe, this, this is, it, it, it uses this Sobel um, algorithm. You can read about it, but um, I think it, uh, it gets three samples horizontally above the, the point that you are trying to see if there is an outline or not. Three samples above, three samples below, which are these HR and they are getting from the depth texture. And then they get uh, vertically three and three points and then uh, they multiply, like they, they make it uh, square basically, and they square the, the vertical, they add them and, and then they square root them. Uh, but anyways, so what I did was to copy this stuff into another file. Uh, with a little bit of tweaking, I added this so that I can use it in the custom node. I also added the, the delta, which represents the thickness of the line and um, the output for that. Which means now if we create a PBR graph, Let's call it outline. That's very odd. I downloaded this sample from the, the link provided in Bracky's uh, tutorial. Um, so it's uh, still linking to some of the stuff even though I deleted it, which is weird. But uh, anyways, we wanted a PBR graph. So here is a PBR, right click set active. And so we can delete this one. And we can delete all the properties. And uh, what else we want a custom node. Create two inputs and one output. And it's going to be a file and it's going to be this guy and the name is Sobel and this is the output this is the UV and this is the thickness how thick do you want it to be why didn't it save all right. Stop. Okay. Uh, and you can get the UV 
obviously from the UV node and let's create um, a thickness parameter and connect it and then let's connect this to the emission and make it zero for the albedo well black um, and so you I think uh, some of you might suggest that I use an unlit and when I tried it everything was like shaking as if it is um, what do you call it like motion blur or something like that it was it was weird so I don't know you can try it if you want um, okay so now if we drop this here you will see everything white and if you increase the thickness you can see the the outline stuff only and I noticed that the 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 original uh, texture the render texture comes in as just a texture you can call it doesn't really matter but this it matters that you keep it exposed and that you uh, call it in like in the reference you have to put this main text now if we save this and if we sample this guy with LOD or without it doesn't really matter multiply this by that and use the output of this instead save and now you see the multiplication of the original texture which is the stuff rendered and on top of that the, the outline obviously now all of this was to add some control over uh, your output so now for example you can do power and use another parameter for the power and then use that instead let's save that go back and let's go to the scene view let's increase the power and decrease the thickness and you can have like kind of more more sharp results if you will and so on you can you can basically add whatever you know from shader graph to this shader and it will apply to all of these and uh, so this is gonna be it for this tutorial but I wanna show you what I did extra and so it was that that same effect that they did but I wanted it to be um, less sharp right so you can see that there is some kind of a blend between each layer and the other and I did that obviously in shader graph and the next tutorial is going to be about that so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it and hit the like button if you like this tutorial and thank you for watching have a nice one